This is Frank Taylor broadcasting you for you today from my backyard. Today is March 31st, 2020. It's about 40 degrees here in Floyd County and raining hard. And for today, I knew I had something really cool I wanted to show you guys. And so I've gone out with my net and all I did is going is took my net took a stab like that pulled it in and then looked to see what I found and look what I got my pond is full of these guys right now and I'm gonna take him and I'm gonna put him in here with a couple of other his pals and go back and check my net again and see what else I might have in here And I think I'm good. What did I find? Well, I found some salamanders. And salamanders are very, very common in the Appalachians. It's a great habitat because these guys like, well, they like rain and they like wet. And I better clean off my camera and get a better picture. Do you hear the rain coming down? It's on top of the roof of my little gazebo that I built here at my pond. And I'm really excited about having caught these things for you and showing to you today. So these are salamanders. Salamanders are different from lizards because they have a very soft, moist skin. And they, they need to keep it moist at all times. Lizards look just like these guys. But uh, they have four legs and a tail and two eyes. But salamanders have very moist skin and lizards have a very, very dry skin. So that's one of the first um, differences between them. And salamanders are amphibians while um, lizards are reptiles. Liber lizards have dry skin, scaly, and they... Um, lay eggs and are adapted and can live their whole life on land. These guys need to live part of their life in the water and so they're called amphibians because they live both on water and on land. And this is a special amphibian called a salamander. And the Appalachian Mountains have more species of salamanders than anywhere in the whole world. We have amazing diversity here in the Appalachians. So this particular salamander is called the Eastern Newt. Now what are the features of the Eastern Newt? Well, it depends on their life stage. And these guys are adults and they go through an amazing changes in their life that's different from every other salamander. These guys, when they are born, hatch in an egg that's laid one at a time on plants in the water. When the egg hatches out, the salamander is very small and has gills. And it'll live in a gilled stage in the water, breathing in water like a fish, for three to six, maybe eight months. And then they'll go through a transformation and it's only the first of several transformations. They'll move out onto land, they'll lose their gills, and they will turn a bright red or orange color. And sometimes you can find adults walking around on the leaf litter, like here, and especially on rainy days. And um, they will live on land for between three to sometimes five years. And after five years living on land and feeding on insects and growing big and, and, and getting uh, good nutrition, they come back to the pond and their skin turns dark like this one. So this one has hatched from an egg, gone through its gill stage, gone through its F stage, which is sometimes called the red F, where it lives on land, and now it's adapting to water again. And can you see how flat his tail is? That tail is great for swimming. 
And when he was on land, he didn't have a flat tail at all. And this one has a really nice flat tail that helps him swim. I've got fish in this pond. Actually, you got trout. But the trout won't touch these guys because, well, they're poisonous. And they've learned not to eat them. What are some other characteristics they have? They've got green skin. And if let's see if I can turn this guy over and you can see his belly. He, well, he doesn't want it. He doesn't want to be turned over. Let me try again. Hey, turn over you. You can see that he has a yellow belly with spots on it. And you, and you can see that swelling there between his legs. These guys are ready to reproduce and start laying eggs. So all these guys and girls have been meeting in the pond and they're getting ready to process and repeating this life cycle. And as this life cycle goes on throughout the year, I'll be reporting on them and showing you um, different stages in their life because I'm, I'm sure I'm going to find the, the larval stages later this spring and then we'll find the, the, the adult stage. Many of these guys will live 5, 10, 15, maybe even 20 years. So they'll spend uh, their first year of life and they hatch from an egg, which these guys will be laying very soon. And they'll live as a gilled larva in the ponds. And then after three to six months, they'll move from that gilled stage to a terrestrial stage where they'll lose their gills and where they're breathing water in the breathing air in the, or oxygen, getting it from the, the water, and they'll learn to live on land and they'll develop some sac-like lungs. These guys also will breathe through their skin, and that's one of the reasons, as adults, they have to keep their skin moist and live in moist places. So on land, they'll live three to five more years as a, an adult eft, which I'll be showing you later, and then they'll return to the pond and live the rest of their life in their pond like this. You can see how flat this one's tail is. He's been in the pond for a while. See this one right here? This tail's not so flat. It's more pointed. And uh, so that one's probably been here, gotten to the pond more recently than the other ones. So this is Frank Taylor broadcasting from you live on a rainy day in cold and wet Floyd County, Virginia. Today's uh, topic was the Eastern Newt. Look it up online. Google it. You know, when I give you guys names of things, that empowers you to go look them up. And you have access to stuff that I never had access to when I was growing up. To, if I wanted to learn more about a creature... I had to go to the library and get books. In fact, I have lots and lots of field guides and books at my house. But you know what? With Google and the internet, I can just look up stuff. So look up the Eastern Newt, and if you get a chance to go out to a pond near you, you may find these guys in the water right now on the banks, and they're getting ready to start laying eggs for this spring. We'll see you again tomorrow on our next episode of Nature in Your Backyard.